guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I will be sharing with you what we're putting inside of our Operation Christmas Child boxes. Now, before I get to anything, let me just explain how this came to be. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was in Chick-fil-A and let me back up, let me back up before that. Okay, every Christmas season, my family and I like to do some kind of giving back. Normally, we have done in the past the angel tree that our school does. But a couple of weeks ago, I was in Chick-fil-A and I was um, about to place my order. And I looked to the left and to my left sat a display of the Operation Christmas Child boxes. Now, I've heard about them in the past, but I have never really, I don't know anything in detail about them. But for some reason, that box was calling my name. And I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I was like, I'm getting a box. So, I grabbed a box. And I wish at that moment I would have grabbed two boxes because I got to thinking it came with this box, and then it came with a little, pack, a little pamphlet that came with the box. And this is what the little pamphlet looks like. And this is from the one that I grabbed at Hobby Lobby. If you saw my Shop With Me video, I grabbed this one there. It looks identical. It just says Chick-fil-A at the bottom. This is the first one I saw when I went into my office. And on the back of this pamphlet, what this pamphlet is, is it explains to you basically what the box is about. It says, Operation Christmas Child collects shoe boxes filled with gifts and delivers them to children in need around the world. Every one of these shoebox gifts is an opportunity for the gospel. In the hands of local churches, it is a powerful tool for evangelism, discipleship, and multiplication. Many shoebox recipients also enroll in our 12-lesson follow-up discipleship program, The Greatest Journey, where they learn to follow Christ and share Him with others. You can be a part of this worldwide effort to grow the kingdom of God, even in places where the gospel has never been heard. So it explains it, and it tells you what things that you could put in your box. And then on the back, it has for you to choose a boy or a girl and an age bracket. So it has two to four years, five to nine, and 10 to 14. So I had no idea when I picked up this box what age group that I was going to choose. But then I started thinking, why did I not get two of these? One for a girl and one for a boy. So I thought my daughter can help me with the girls and my son can help me with the boys. So I went back to Chick-fil-A the next day and the boxes were gone. So instead, we've got one box, but don't be discouraged. Even if you don't have a box, you can still give this type of way. So I went into my closet and I had this Birkenstock box, which is almost the exact same size as the Operation Christmas Child box. So we are not gonna be doing one box, but we are going to be doing two. So I'm super excited that both of my kids were able to help me and my husband pick out items for each one of the boxes. And before I get to any of that, I'll kind of explain the categories that we decided to go with for our boxes. Okay, I had to pause the film real fast. One, to charge my battery, and two, to put together the box. So the actual box is now put together. I can show you, and I'll show you that it's about the same size as my Birkenstock box. It's a so here are the boxes. They're almost the exact same size, if you see. So I think I did a good job picking out a box. I'm glad I had this extra Birkenstock box. So what it says is, place your boy girl label here. So this is going to be Kate's box here. So I'm just going to cut out here and I'm going to place that and tape it on top of the box. Now I will tell you before I share what is going in the box, let me just say this. I was going to put these boxes together by myself um, while Kate was at cheer practice. On Thursday, she has two hours of cheer. So I thought, I really don't have anything to do in those two hours, so I could just go ahead and get everything for their box. I mentioned that to Kate, and she had a fit. 
she was like, mom, I really want to put my box together. I, I don't care if, you know, on the weekends I told her, well, you know, on Saturday you might want to just rest. And she said, no, I don't. I want to help you put together my box. So I was like, you know what? I think she understands the meaning of this whole thing. So that made me so happy. So last night as a family, all four of us went to Walmart and together we shopped for the items for each one of the boxes. Now I will say Derek is four and he had a little bit of a hard time understanding that the Hot Wheels that we got were going in his box, not for him to play with at home. So I'm hoping every year that we do this that he gets a little bit more accepting of the project and understands what it's about. Now, um, I went on the website, the Operation Christmas Child website, and I wanted to make sure that I put things in the box that were supposed to go in the box. So I got some personal care items. I got some clothing type of items. I got some uh, toy items, educational items. And they want you to put a wow item in there. Something that they're going to be blown away with in their box. Now here was the challenging part. I, it took us a while because we had to make sure what we chose would fit in this box. And you guys, this is Kate's bag here. And I hope to goodness I can get all this stuff to fit in this box. Um, we are going to see. So I will show you the box completely filled out or uh, filled up once I get everything shared with y'all. So let's start with the most important items first, and that would be the personal care items. So I'm going to go through here and pull out. First thing was soap. They said soap was a good thing to put in there. So for Kate's box, we started with some Dove soap. toothbrush set and we got it said toothbrush but we decided to go with the little set it comes with the toothbrush the toothpaste and a cap for the toothbrush and those two things were purchased in the traveling section the little small things in the beauty section at walmart and all of these things came from walmart um next let's see i think those were the only two personal um hygiene type of items that we got and then we got, oh, one other thing were these washcloths. So this whole set of four washcloths were just a dollar. So I could not pass that up. And I'm hoping that I won't have to unpack them and only pull out one, I'm hoping. Okay, then we're gonna go to the clothing type things. Since this box was so small, I couldn't choose anything that was too big. So we got a package of panties. This is a five pack of panties and this is the Faded Glory um, brand. Then we got a set of socks and these, this is six pair and y'all, this is for ages, I think it said four to eight, let's see. Five to nine, so that is Kate's age group. She's eight. So we got the medium size socks and I based everything off of what size she wears. And this is a package of six. So six pairs of socks. And then last but not least, we got gloves. And I'm hoping I don't have to unpack these either. We got a cap and then gloves. The educational items we decided to go with, she loved this little notebook Kate did. And y'all, she took, she took a lot of time to pick out these items. Like she kept going through the notebooks and like, oh, what notebook do I want to get? Oh, I do like that one. So I stepped to, this, to another aisle, like right beside her. And I was like, I'm going to go ahead and go get the next things over here while you pick out a notebook. So she liked this one and decided to go with this one. And I wanted a coloring book for both boxes, but they didn't have any coloring books that would fit in these boxes. Then we decided to go with the 24 pack of colored pencils. And since we did colored pencils, we went ahead and did a pencil sharpener as well to go with that. Then we did these little jelly bracelets. And we found these in the toy section. 
a recorder. Y'all, this was just a dollar. One of the things was a musical instrument that you could include. And y'all, I may actually have to open this package and take it apart because I think it's too long for my box. So, and then last but not least was the cutest. One of the things was toy it said stuffed animal so we thought that she might be too we didn't know if to get a baby doll or not but then amongst all of the stuffed animals was this adorable little unicorn is this not the cutest little unicorn you have ever seen so and this was our last item was this little unicorn Okay, I will show you the completely filled out boxes at the end because I'm having to maneuver around some of the things in Kate's box. I'm like, can you tape the box? Because the box is, I'm gonna have to shove the unicorn in there to get everything to fit and smash him down because I'm determined for everything to fit in there. I think I've had to take out two little wash rags because they would not fit, but everything else I'm determined that it's gonna fit in that box. So let's move on to Derek's box. Derek's box has got the same type of things in it, but it's for a boy ages, let me see. But Derek's box is for a boy ages two to four, since that is how old he is. We want to make sure to get things that are boxes. We wanted to make sure to do the age groups the same as both of our kids. So I'm gonna go in the same order as Kate's. And this, there's a lot of the same items in here, starting with the soap. So I got a bar of soap for his box. And set of washcloths. And you guys, I had to end up taking two of the washcloths out of the box that's going for Kate because I had too much stuff in there. And here, when I was at Walmart, I was like, oh, I wonder if I need to get a few more things for the box. No, it won't fit. Okay, then we got a toothbrush, like we did for Kate's box. And y'all, this little set, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, was just a dollar, and you got toothpaste, toothbrush, and a cap. And it's got the nice little package that they could use for something else. Then, I think that's all for the personal care. Then, for the clothing top things, we got this package of underwear. It's the three toddler Mickey underwear. And for sizing, I went off of Derek and I got a 4T. Since the oldest for that age group was four. Then we got a set of socks. This is six ankle socks for the loom toddler boys and y'all some of his he's kind of between sizes he's he's moving up to the little boys but he can still wear like 5t in the toddler so the uh, underwear and the socks came from the toddler department at walmart and then the gloves i was really upset about this because for kate's box i got a cap I went everywhere. They were completely out of caps for little boys. So I got a set of gloves. So three gloves, gray, orange, and like a um, gray and black. But I went to, these came from the little boys section. They didn't have any. So I went to the toddler section. All they had was baby caps. And I'm like, that is not gonna fit somebody's head that's Derek's age. So I did not get a cap for his box. I'm very disappointed in that. So, but I did get gloves. So that was it for the personal care and the clothing type things. And y'all would have put actual clothes in there, but I didn't have enough room in the box. Now we are to the educational things. So for the educational things, we got crayons. And this is a set of 24 crayons and a little notebook. So those are the two educational things that we got for his box. And then we're to the toys and the wow toys. Okay, 
So one, the recorder. I got a little recorder for his two. And y'all, this was in the toy section and it was just a dollar. And I had to take Kate's, I had to open it up and take it apart because the top part comes off of the bottom part and it makes it to where it'll fit in the box. So I'm gonna do that for his as well. So I got a red one for his box. And I got two little Hot Wheels. Got a black Hot Wheel and a red Hot Wheel. And then the wow toy that they said was a ball. So I don't know if all of these are gonna fit in there, but we got a set of three tennis balls. So I'm hoping I can get these to where they will fit in the box. So those are the items that we got for Derek's Operation Christmas Child box. So now I am going to fill these boxes up and share the completely filled up boxes with you guys. Okay, now I have Kate's box in front of me and I have been reading a little pamphlet that I got that goes with this and I will tell you one thing. It said that do not include toothpaste. So I went ahead and I took the toothpaste out of the little toothbrush packet here and kept the toothbrush and the little cap. So we are going to fill this box and we're going to pray that we can get the lid to shut. So we are going to start with the notebook because it's flat. The colored pencils. We're gonna stick the toothbrush on the side. The panties, can those fit on the side? Let's see. Those may be able to fit on the side, we'll see. Okay, we've got two washcloths because I had to take the others out because I don't think they're gonna fit if I don't. Then we have the soap. The gloves. Okay, thinking that'll fit nicely right there. The pencil sharpener. Squeeze that over there. Okay. I am going to take the recorder apart like this. And it should fit nicely now. Yes, we'll just put that underneath the gloves. Okay, like so. The little bracelets can just sit anywhere because they're kind of small. We'll fold the cap up. That right there. And we've got the socks. And I think the last thing is the unicorn. And the last thing is the unicorn. So the unicorn will turn her sideways like so. And that should shut. I mean, it should shut. It might be a tight squeeze, but I think it's going to work. It's kind of bulging on the side. Can I tape the box? And you guys, I'm not going to shut this completely, but I will apply two pieces of tape over here to make sure the box is shut. But I think that looks great. So now all I have to do is I have to fill out, I will enclose the $9 to help with shipping and other expenses. And um, I'll just drop off this box next week. So now we are going to move to Derek's box. So now we are to Derek's box, and Derek's box is the one I'm using the Birkenstock box for. So now we're going to hope everything fits in his. Okay, so we're going to start with the notebook and the crayons, and I'm also taking the toothpaste out of his kit, since sending toothpaste is a no-no. So we're going to put that on the side. We've got underwear. Let's squeeze that on the end there. I really want these tennis balls to fit in here. So I may have to do some things sideways. Okay, let's see. Oh, and that stands up perfect. Yes. Okay, and then we'll squeeze the crayons on the side. Perfect. Okay, then I think we can squeeze the Hot Wheels on the edges. Awesome. We'll put gloves here. Okay. 
And we've got soap. If I can squeeze the yeah, we can squeeze the soap right here on the end. The recorder is gonna have to be pulled apart like Kate's. Kind of protect this. I don't want it to get all messed up. I'm just gonna stick it in. There we go. There. Okay. Socks. And I may try to, it looks like all four of his washcloths may fit. I may have to do two and two. Two. Oh, no, they're not. Okay. So we're just going to squeeze two wash rags up there. So we'll put the other two to the side. So you guys, everything fit in Derek's box, but two washcloths. So that fits nicely. It is going to shut, and I will tape it just like I'm going to have to tape Kate's. And I am excited we bought the perfect amount of things to fit in each box. So I cannot wait to deliver these. And it also said to include a personal note inside. So I have these little cards here that I had purchased from, they came in a set of like eight from the Target Dollar Spot. So I'm going to do the little pink floral for Kate's box and the little red floral for Derek's box. And you guys, that is all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing everything that we are filling inside of our Operation Christmas Child boxes. I think this is going to be a tradition that we continue in our household. I've enjoyed this process and so has the rest of my family. And there's nothing better during the Christmas season than giving. I love giving presents and I love giving things to people that are in, are in need. So I hope you give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope y'all have a fantastic week. And until next time, bye you guys.